War II aircraft flying in tight formations over the skies. It is absolutely a thing of beauty. You'll not want to miss a single moment of this afternoon's air show. We have got a great lineup for you, as well as some of our hometown heroes, and much, much more as we relive all the excitement and thrills of aviation here this weekend. Again, we're just moments away. Getting things geared up for the 2023 Big Country Air Show. Excited you're here this weekend. Well, we got just a few moments. Are there any veterans with us this weekend? Any veterans? Raise your hand if you're a veteran out here today. If you're a veteran, please raise your hand now. Let's rest of us, let's put our hands together. Let's thank these men and women for their service to our country. Thank you, veterans, for what you've done for us. We appreciate it tremendously. And all the great people that are out here this weekend, the men and women of Dias Air Force Base that have worked so hard for this weekend have done a tremendous job. Let me tell you, we, our hats are off to them. They've done an incredible job. So we are so excited you're here today, this weekend, and we know it's been a long time since we've had a moment of the runway. It's been honored on board members of the Wings of Blue from the United States Air Force Academy. Parachuting, skydiving team on the takeoff roll. Thank you, Captain Outstanding and innovative airmen holding the open ceremony ribbon as it is cut by the performer of the Brian Air Force Air Force Team. Let's get this ribbon cut. Thank <laughs> you. 
began to enter into Europe, air crews were required to fly only 25 missions to get a rotation home. Now, 25 missions didn't sound like much, but you gotta realize that only one in four airmen survived to even see that happen in the early days of World War II, the bombing campaigns in Western Europe. And again, as we were able to add fighter aircraft, like the P-51 Mustang, were affectionately called the Little Friends by the bomber crews, and they could escort the fighter or the bombers over the target, that uh, our losses began to drop significantly when aircraft like the ones you're going to see here today, the P-51 Mustang, would take to the skies and escort the bombers to the target. The P-51 Mustang will cost you well over two and a half million dollars. All right, you see the streamers that have been dropped out of the Golden Knights aircraft. These streamers again are dropped so they can get stats for freedom, and they can't take that away. All right, keep an eye now as he pulls down on both control cables, stalls out there, parachute, and a target landing, ladies and gentlemen. of the Golden Knights, but before what is known as a demonstration accuracy set. The jumpers are out, and the smoking is on! As the team leader takes his heading in this direction, the remaining jumpers glide to precise opening point and await his signal. There you have the high-flying black angle of your United States Army parachute team, the Golden Knights! What's up, final approach? The jump is all concentration to a small black dot located at the center of the orange X. As the jumpers near the target area, watch the movements they make with their steering lines. The great presence presents the visual demonstration team to the 2023 Air Show season. All members of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. Now, in keeping with long-standing Golden Knight tradition, we would like to present today's baton, which was flown in free fall to a distinguished member of the world. We've been able to accomplish over many, many years, and the nation who built service to win the built service to prove these aircraft in World War II and continue on. It's really, really amazing. As a matter of fact, I think we should just take a few moments. Let's thank our current members of the military for their service for this country. It's going to make a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing job they do every day of the week. I've had the unique privilege over my number of years of doing air shows to meet a lot of these personnel in, in different functions and different uh, operations, and it's really amazing the organization of the United States Air Force and the military forces that we have, what goes on 24 